Hey guys, it's Beano. In the last part we did stuff, in this part we're doing Tarmac Trouble, which is last stage. That's not a boss. Oh yeah, Jesse's caught, by the way. Yeah, they were conveniently the last one, weren't they? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is a this is the last stage. It involves planes. It's got some awesome music. But it's also a big stage. Basically, it's just this whole f flat area for the most part. Um, but each of these areas has stuff. Thankfully, this first side doesn't have anything. You're collecting these luggages, so I don't know. We'll roll with it. And we pretty much run out of enemies, so <laughs> just dump the old ones back in. Random green pile. That lens flare man. See? This is the original lens flare game. You know what? It doesn't even detract from the game experience. Like, like so many times I've, I've abused Battlefield. Oh come on, I'm playing Battlefield and suddenly I'm just like, ah, oh, I can't see because there's friggin' because I'm looking at the sun. I, mean, I know it's realistic, but don't just blind me whenever I need to look up at once. Okay, never play Battlefield, it'll ruin your life. Actually it won't, but it'll... But it's really uh, you know. So anyway, I'm just kind of going around, because for the most part, you can grab quite a bunch of stuff if you just kind of wander around the stage. There's a helicopter. I thought you'd like to know that, there's a helicopter on the stage. What is the... Oh, yeah, they also have, um, you know, radioactive piles, and no shield this time. Of all the stages, the shield is probably the most useless one. The disc being followed, and then what's next? Rocket boots, kind of. The grappling hook, kind of, and then the hover boots. Hover boots, yes, because you barely use them. Use them to to do to get a boss and one of the thingies. So technically, in total, you can only get like three tokens from getting the hover boots. Which granted is pretty, it's a lot better than the shield, which you can only really get one, the first one. Or maybe two, because you gotta get the sheep. Anyway, we're on the last side. Oh, now you gotta pay attention to the numbers, because if you don't, you're gonna get lost here. Because you need to know what's in what number, and unfortunately I'm not paying attention to the numbers either. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, the problem is, you can't jump into any of these things, because for the most part, you're a toy. I think by stage 14, you should have realized that. But yeah. So basically, everything in this stage is just really big, and that's one thing I like about it, but it's a bit of a pain to navigate. Just because you can't see the other end of the stage until you go over to it. Right, those are the guys who are going like, oh, we need a luggage. Kind of weird how there's toys out here, in all places. In fact, there wasn't really much of a exploration out in this area in the movie. So, so anyway, this plane is going around. You're going, what is this plane doing? Well, it's going around, of course. Hold on. So anyway, if you go over here, here's a slinky dog. Anyway, if you can reach the end of the pass without jumping or touching the slime, He'll give you a token. So you're like, okay. Oh, you also have 66 seconds. Wow, that was great, greatly done. So yes, pretty much a minute 
to wander along this path without jumping. You know, considering it's the last stage, I'm actually glad it's not one of those collectors collect things, because that's what they did half the time. Half the time they did the collecting, half the time, a bit of the time they did the racing, and I don't know what happened after that. Follow the, the guy. Yeah, all that stuff. So anyway, this is, this is kind of tricky, I'll say that. Especially if, if you don't really have a good thumb. It took me a while as a young little lad, before I grew, before the controller became a part of me. Yes. Anyway, you're going, you're going like, what's with the plane? The lightning surely took out my capture card last time, I don't remember that. No, I don't think you can shortcut it. And don't try jumping into it. <laughs> so anyway, now I'm gonna... grab the rope on the end of this. And you know, just climb up it. Can't really climb up this pole. Yeah, you can tell that the draw distance is just kind of hurting itself. It's going, no, I can't draw the, the road. So anyway, jump onto the plane, <laughs> and then you'll realize how big the plane actually is. It's a pretty big plane. It's got a bit of luggage on it, so that's cool. Now, if you're wondering what's the point of jumping on the plane besides getting the luggage, now the plane opens up the entire stage again. Because basically you can jump on anything, which means they're going to hide stuff all over the stage. So they're going to hide this luggage. Come on, the luggage. Oh, come on, luggage. There you are. This is an extra life, by the way, in case if you did one, which I kind of did, but I didn't really necessarily need it. Because the uh, next stage, last stage, yeah, it's a bit of a recycle. You know, just kind of casually going around. I love how a lot of last stages, there's either a volcano or there's... Yeah, there's either lava or rain or something bad's happening. There's never a happy last level, isn't there? You know, unless if you're a modern shooter, then you suck. <laughs> I don't like modern shooters. So anyway, so we went out to one of those, you gotta I guess you can realize where you are. There's nothing over at 5, I believe. 5 is plain and empty. No time to lose! Yeah, I know there's no time to lose, that's why I'm waiting. No, I went to 7 already. Oh, by the way, you kind of gravitate to the end. So I thought you thought. Oh gosh! Whoa! No! No! Half oh, the big guy with a sound it. And you're going like, what the heck is this? It's the blacksmith. Jeez, we ran out of level ideas. He's also very annoying because basically you can't hit him until he fires the thing. That's the problem with these bosses. Some of them, they just made them too difficult without getting hit. I mean, granted, they gave you a lot of health, but trying to avoid getting hit at once in this game is pretty tough. So anyway, we got one token, and I'm going to grab some coins, because I'm going to need to do that. I'm gonna stop singing. <laughs> so anyway, we gotta jump back onto the plane. Bye, bird. Ah, uh, watch out, you're gonna get trod over by the chickens. There's a lot of enemies on the inside too, so if you're missing coins, try just feeding the enemies on the inside of the stage. 
There's also a few points just kind of on the poison here. And radioactive goop. Why do they have this radioactive goop? And also, here's the thing. If this is supposed to be toy sized, how are you supposed to avoid the goop as a as a human being? Because the path is so thin. I digress. Anyway, guess what we're doing? We're waiting again. Yay. Uh, I don't have anything to do for five seconds. I gotta wait until we get all the way up to like eight. I think. I think there's a car over at eight. Is there? No? Or maybe it was two. Dang, I gotta jump off at one then. Oh, there's a bag at eight and all that. I wanna see if I can jump off and jump back on. Nah, cause it's a jump all the way over. Come on, baggage. So I guess we'll just wait because we're gonna miss that. So anyway, it has been a fun time playing this game. Ooh, let's look down. Oh, look at that, you can see the black of the under skybox. Lovely. It's a good game though. I recommend if you have the PlayStation cash for it. Because you can get this for your PS3, but not in high quality. The high, the high def. Well, here comes the plane. No, it's not. <laughs> Problem with this stage is that you gotta wait for that plane the whole time, so. There's only so much you can do to. You know, entertain yourself. Shake the control like mad. Okay. But the problem with this one is that you got nothing to do on after you get the thing. This and the other one, hopefully I can try doing the puzzle. So there's a helicopter flying around. And what you gotta do is you gotta stand on the stand on the sand with the chicken inbound. Anyway, we got a puzzle to do. So basically what you gotta do is in three goes you have to do things. Basically you have to light actually talk to the block. So you gotta change the bottom row of lights to match the top row. Suck at this. So I'll do that, and then I'll do that. There you go. <coughs> so basically, it just turns on one and turns off another. Just constantly try it again until you get it all. And there's a bunch of coins up here as well, so that's good. If you're one of those people who just might like collecting coins. Oh gosh, the plane sort of here. My plane is here. Yeah, so if there's a bunch of coins that you need to get. Oh, that sucks. Do I gotta jump on the plane in order to jump to the car? Weird out now they're chucking a puzzle at us. Like, I know they've chucked a few puzzles, but this is obviously a puzzle. I mean, it doesn't even make sense in, the, in this game. It's a bunch of colored lights that turn on with a bunch of switches that are, what, hand sized on the ground? 
I don't quite understand where this fits in. You know, we did it, so... We did it. Triangle is nothing, fun fact. So select. I, mean, I don't expect going to utilize all the buttons, but at least they're under users and over users. Oh, come on, plane. I waited for you. You're not even going to have the decency to keep your thingy up. Yeah. I don't think the plane kills you, by the way. I think it just damages you. Yeah, I know. A plane can tread over a toy and it'll only damage the toy for like a fifteenth of its health. Hey, yeah, bud. Yeah, I know. Hello. <laughs> Oh, come on! <coughs> First time I ever yelled at this stage, out of all things. Who yells at stage 14? I can't remember stage 14 of uh, Bug's Life. The Emperor's New Groove was made by a completely different person, by the way. Person? One person made it, yes. I believe Argonaut played it. You know what else Argonaut made? Okay, you know what else Argonaut made? Do you know? What? Oh, they made the Croc games. Yeah. But they were defunct in 2004. Which means that they ran out of money. Maybe it's because they made Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. For Xbox. Jump! By the way, that puzzle was the secret. So, well, we've done the boss, we've done the race, and now we're just gonna kind of stride back. I don't know where the heck the other guys are. Ow. I prefer not to die, so. Alright, so basically we're just going to find those two characters. Yeah, there's one of them. Thank you, here's a Pizza Planet token. You know what the other problem with this game is? There's no payoff to anything. You only get the, uh... The only thing you can really work towards are getting all the cutscenes, but basically you unlock them just by playing the stages. You don't get anything for getting all the tokens. That's the problem. With the Bugs Life, at least you get bonus clips from the film if you... If you uh, collect all the, um... Oh, I don't want to die. You get bonus clips if you collect all the grains and whatnot. You don't get any, um, anything in this game. You just kind of win. No matter how many tokens you get, anyway. To infinity and beyond. Ugh. Holy snap! He did English, man. That's no, not. Yeah, I guess I would save the game. Oh, I guess the thing fell off. What? <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, you get one cutscene. Jesse, let go of the plane! What are you crazy? Just pretend it's the final episode of Woody's Roundup! What if it's cancelled? We never saw you made it! Well then let's find out together! Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't even think they use the audio from the from the movie anyway. Did 
Yeah, that's the problem. They cut off there, and that's actually when they win in the film. But this? Um, yeah, someone's reusing some battles. This is actually a very interesting end boss fight, because think about it. First of all, they're on the plane, like they're in the plane now. Woody is in there for no reason. The cutscene will already show that we won. I died. Thankfully, you can actually spin that guy. Anyway, the camera's all messed up. So basically, Mexican man, you can you can shoot Mexican man. <laughs> well, for the other two guys, you gotta spin them, which is a bit annoying. I like what they've done with the camera. Okay, making my eyesight poor, but let's see if we can do this without dying again. There he is. I mean, I understand that you need to do a final boss and not just a random quick time event. Thank you, everyone else. So anyway, you won! You know what this deserves? You're saving your game. Saving! Saving! You also get a bonus movie, because guess what's going well, on? Well, Stinky Pete, I think it's time you learned the true meaning of playtime. Run over there, guys! No! 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 Game one! <laughs> oh, Bullseye! We're part of a family again! Ma'am, I, uh, uh, I just want to say you're a bright young woman with a beautiful yarn full of hair. A hair full of yarn. It's, uh... Oh, um, <clears throat> I must go. Well, aren't you the sweetest space toy I ever met? What's that, Mark Mark? Uh, this fellow says he needs to go out back for a little private time. Then put on his house. That's right. Sorry. Wait, why is she yodeling? She's a cow person. So yeah, and then you just win. I mean, I understand you play through the story of the... I understand you play through the story of the game, but... Like, I don't know, it just kind of feels a bit... A bit kind of relaxed at the very end, like, you know, there wasn't really any threat. There was just kind of... These people... But anyway, yeah, a bunch of these people did work on it, so, including Bev Bush, yeah, Bev Bush, I don't have much to say, <coughs> seriously, I don't have that much to say, other than, chickens, Hello, Bo Peep, who never appeared outside of the first stage. <laughs> and again, she barely appeared after the first stage in the film, so to speak.
so yeah, I don't know what else to say other than happy birthday, everyone, sometime this year. Do you have anything to say? Bye. Bye, okay. The sound effects are from PC music, what the heck? Sapakowski, I don't know how to say that. Thank you all these kids. You know what? After all of that, you know what happens? It just resets the game. Well, with all the data and all, but... You know... Kind of laid-back ending, isn't it? You don't really get that much of a reward for winning, just be... Just instead of seeing how Jessie makes it out, even though technically you didn't... If you didn't get it, she would have made it out anyway. No, I'll get banned in Russia if you sing along. Alright, I guess I'll see you kids later. Because I got nothing else to do.